welcome to Tay Plays. I'm Tay. Uh, we're playing today, of course, Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. Woo, Pokemon! Uh, with me, I have Sparky. Hi, diddly diddly. Leon. Hello. And Kay. Yo. Hey. Uh, we... Are, are you, are you encroaching upon my one syllable that I get for this? You're not yes. even gonna have, you're not even gonna let me have my one syllable. You're not doing it right. <laughs> let her do what she do. That is how a K do. <laughs> so we're on Route 4 right now and we're trying to get some experience from all these trainers and being buffeted. Why, why is that hiker like presenting to us. Who actually comes to New York to backpack? <laughs> Why is there a desert in New York? <laughs> it's like a backpacker would make more sense in X and Y because people always go to Europe to backpack. <laughs> Which they are in there. No one comes to backpack America. <laughs> uh, how effective is grass against grass? Not there. It's not negative though, right? It's just neutral damage? Grass? Against grass is not effective. Okay. Yep, I can tell that by the <laughs> razor leaf there. Alright. Yeah, so Cotney, like, there's a couple of Pokemon that are actually don't have really good diversity in terms of their moveset. Cotney is one of them, like, it's almost all grass type moves. Another one that you could be useful or used to is, like, Ampharos or, um, you know. That line in, in Pokemon, the electric so, sheep. yeah, silver and and gold, um, where they almost learn only electric type moves. Um, they're truly single type Pokemon. Uh, I know that Ampharos at higher levels learns Signal Beam and some other diversity, but you know, Cottony is definitely going to struggle. A she little learns bit some Fairy and Air or Flying. One flying move. Where did you come from? Well, well I walked here. Well, when I'm a just... mommy and a daddy <laughs> love each other very much. Oh, no. I was going to go the route of, no, where did you come from? I'm very lost in this sandstorm and I need to know my way back home. <laughs> Why are you pulling out your Pokemon? I just want directions. I've been out here for four days. I'm running out of food. You're beating me up and taking my money just because I asked for directions. I ate my pit of two days ago. <laughs> That's why she only has the pet lily left. <laughs> yeah. The cottony in this generation, its only attack moves are grass moves. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not fairy There, there are no fairy, yeah. Fairies? It does, like I said, I know it does learn one flying move. In this generation, it does not. Really? Ooh. I thought that we were looking at that to, like, decide when to evolve it or not. I'm not seeing it. So those are all TMs. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Sparky was the one saying it before. Yeah, it may have when been a doubt, future state. When in doubt, blame Sparky. Just when in doubt, say what happened. It's because Stuart's not here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yet. <laughs> he used to blame everything on him. Yep. Can I go ahead? No. Uh, I bet she's from the Kalos region. She looks very stylish. He looks very stylish. <laughs> I was about to say, are you sure? Are you suffering from Pokemon Professor Syndrome? <laughs> just... I want to make a PSA like commercial now where it's just like, are you? Suffering from Pokemon Professor Syndrome. So who's gonna be a good counter to uh, this Blitzel? Grass should be fine against. Cottony does learn a poison type move and a fire type move, but the fire Sunny type day move, is not damaging though. It's not, but it's still a fire type move. Mm -hmm. Damaging type move. But it, it does learn poison powder. Uh, which we probably already forgot at this point. No, it's at level 22. Yeah, I was like, we have uh, not learned Poison Powder yet. Well then. Haha! -ha! I have buffeted on you! Mm -hmm. Buffet. 
So many buffets here. Just go to a buffet, Sparky. They all suck. Do they? I've worked in one. I know what goes <laughs> on there. Yeah. <laughs> I hear the one at Caesars is good, though. Mm -hmm. I hear good things about that one. Yeah. I think that's the one I've heard is the best, too. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's that down. Uh -huh. Well, that's not. I'm talking about the <sighs> same. <laughs> I'm paralyzed, so don't let me down. Hit him. Uh, don't damn. let me down. Oh, no. <laughs> Buffet by the Sandstorm. I just saw Sandstorm for a second and I was like, <laughs> the music, the song Sandstorm is just <laughs> hurting it. <laughs> That's not good. No, it's not. That oh. is survival. That's good though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I am a did he just flame charge us? Yeah. I completely forgot about that. Do we want to uh, get make a wish out of? Yeah, the well, no, it's no, dead. Be dead. Oh, okay. But we we will heal at least. The buffet and the leech seed took care of it. Yeah. Okay. I was worried that it might not. That it might just have a tiny bit left. Well, if that was the case, we would have healed yeah. up or got him got him out of there because of that flame charge. Which I'm just I'm surprised. That we survived. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think our defense was very good, but maybe it is. <laughs> Let me see. I'm just curious now. Do we have great defense? Oh, yes, we do. Yeah. Alright. And you have pretty good special That's defense. Cool. Alright. Make a wish. Being a tank. Good job. Well, it is soldier first class. Yeah. yeah. Zero class. Zero class. Yeah. It, it survived Genova and became the ultimate soldier. I think there's stuff off to the left. Yeah, I think so too. Damn. Let's see. Apparently an angel just got its wings. I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna silence my phone. Oh there, even in the middle of construction, a trainer will battle. Oh. I would think that Don't... violates OSHA standards. I would think so too. <laughs> Seems counterproductive as well. <laughs> yes. Ah. I see you've decided to battle with Tuss. This should be an easy fight. Oh yeah. I'm going to first at least do Paradise here? Yes. Paradise here. Let's make Mako feel a little better. Probably should have done the after the last battle. Probably. Yes. I forgot. Once the, once the battle ends, my mind just like forgets everything that's already this, happened. This isn't Sun and Moon where you can groom them and mm -hmm. have them restore. That's gonna be really neat, actually. I'm very interested to see how that works. Yeah. Yeah, because they're not—it's not Pokemon Ami anymore. What's it called? Grooming? Is it just? Oh, is it just is called? It just is it just grooming? grooming? I don't know if they <laughs> named it anything yet. Man, yeah. being buffeted is so tough. All right, let's just let's just kill you, because we're faster, and we're stronger, and we have a better type advantage. Ah, even the crit—you didn't die. <clears throat> so make a wish still needs a sunstone for us to evolve him. Yeah. So we'll have to figure out where we're gonna go. And we decided to Well now we don't know, but I I know we originally were talking about waiting till a certain level so it learned a certain move. Suns or leech seeds should kill it, but I don't know how to do supers. Just top her off. The last move that Cottony will learn is Solar Beam at level 46. Okay, when does she learn if we evolve her? Uh, well, because it's a don't stone, think she, learns she anything. won't learn anything. You said she will learn like two moves. Unless that's just from Gen Oh, Gen you're right. She does learn flying moves when she's a whimsic. Pop. Yes, that's what I meant. Revolver. So are we are thinking of once she hit Energy Ball, um, Evolver then so we can get the flying type move. 
What does Tailwind do? Well, that one just speeds him up, like in the, the whole party. We don't need Tailwind, it's Hurricane we want. Looking like a hurricane. Uh, timber, eh? Then Timber, meet my headphone. Yeah, Energy Ball is level 35. If we don't care about Cotton Guard or Sunny Day or whatever. Solar Beam would be the only one, maybe, but since it's a two part move, I think um, Energy Ball is better because doing Energy Ball twice does more damage than Solar Beam. And Solar Beam you can only do once, and then you have to sit and do nothing for a move. True story. Have you seen the Endeavor tactic with the level 1 uh, Radida? I've heard, I heard about it, but I didn't watch it. Yeah, so the move Endeavor, which Cottony can learn, uh, basically cuts the target's HP down to the user's HP. And what... One of the tactics you could use is you, you could have, I think it's called a Focus Slash or something that allows Pokemon to survive being KO'd. Um, but once they're level 1, or they have 1 HP, then the Rattata would use Endeavor and make even a level 77 Pokemon down to 1 HP, and then on its next move it would do Quick Attack and always beat it. So there's actually some YouTube videos out there of a level 1 Rattata beating the Elite 4. Elite four yeah. It's crazy. Because at level 1 Rattata, is it HP pretty much already? Just 1 HP no matter what? Uh, no, you have to combine it with the item. I think it's Focus Slash or Focus oh. Band or something that oh, makes it so prevents can... it so it doesn't die. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm sure Pokemon... Sandtomb! I'm sure the Pokemon company, after they saw that, went, Oh, well, we gotta fix that. <laughs> Well, the Rattata actually has to go through a crazy breeding process in order oh, to actually okay. get those moves, so, I mean, kudos to whoever wants to build that. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of random things to, to work around it. As long as you, you kept quick attack. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't imagine someone using that in competitive play, that'd be really interesting. Because you actually have to make sure, like, the stars align. Because in that scenario, they already knew, um, you know, who they're going up against and stuff. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> now you can't move, and I will kill you by eating your innards. So Make-A-Wish actually has a lower attack and a lower special attack, so that's why it's taken him a little time to kill things. Um, ideally, you know, he'd get some more. One hit KOs, but that's not really. Ah, uh, trans. I was hoping you'd tell me which way is which. <laughs> uh, well, well, there's up and then there's left. Sure, I and think if you left go... up is to the next city. Where is to the resort? Yes, if we want to go to the last resort, we're or desert resort. We're gonna go left. All right. Um, and we're gonna go to the desert resort. It is a new area, so we should be able to catch a new Pokemon. In my opinion. Woo! All right. Let's Some see. people have said, oh, the desert resort's part of Route 4, but I count it as a new area. I'm okay with that. As long as we actually transition screen-wise. Hatiful would be good against Timber. Yes. Plus, we want to build Hatiful to be like ridiculous OP bird. <laughs> Already it there. Seems kind of useless for a construction worker to use a Pokemon that likes to carry around with the <laughs> equipment. Well, we could it's just sitting there playing with it. It's, it's juggling the wood. It's like get, Timber. We need that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my wood. <laughs> Twist. No, no, but seriously, we gotta finish this wall. Give us back that beam. <laughs> no. I guess it would just be timber. Because <laughs> he keeps jet from juggling. <laughs> just... It's like, where do the wild ones get them from? I'm gonna... Did they just steal them from this construction site? I... Yes, probably. 
I don't want to just attack and then not have it die and then be killed by Bide. That's what happened to Vlad. <laughs> Does, like, the 2x4, like, evolve with the timber when it comes Yeah, it becomes concrete girder. somehow. <laughs> or so no, it becomes steel. the girder first. So, uh, and then how much have you actually... I haven't to touched it at all yet. Okay, so if you do roost again, yeah. how is Bide gonna hurt? No, it shouldn't. Unless it's counting the buffets. And if it is okay. counting the buffets, okay. Then obviously, then I'll be hurt a little bit. Well, he he released his energy and it yeah. did nothing, so. Yeah, because that's what it was. Um, that's how Vlad died. No, Vlad died is like I was like, okay, Bide hasn't gone off yet. I'm faster, but when it, they release the energy, they no matter what go first, uh -huh. and so it just killed. Vlad in one hit. So Vlad, know that we are learning from your death. <laughs> we are. <laughs> are you still tearing up over Vlad? I love Vlad. Vlad was a piece of shit. <laughs> That's why you're a horrible Pokemon trainer. Nah, Hatiful's great. You Hatiful don't have loves love me. for your Pokemon. I have love for Hatiful, Wicket, Bahamut, Make-A-Wish, even, uh... Old what's her Tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, Tough is my boy! Yeah, yeah I love Tough. tough. Yeah. He's awesome. I, I don't really care for Chippendale, but, you know, he's still around. If you had loved Vlad, <laughs> he would not have died. Yeah. Alright, well, we are going to stop there for now. We'll pick this up next time. You guys have a wonderful night. Thanks for watching, and... Have a poke wonderful day. Yeah, have a poke wonderful day, or whatever I said last time. Okay, bye! <laughs> bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos by us, click the thumbnails. It should take you to one of our latest video antics. And, as always, be sure to like and subscribe to help us out. Or you can click here to support us over at Patreon to help us create even more quality content. Until next time! Thanks again for watching.